okay? Uh, our inverts, I'm going to play convert, and that's what I'm going to walk through inside. We're going to play convert technique on any slot receiver, all right? And I'm going to walk us through that, okay? Uh, versus any 21 set, all right? Two backs, tight end, personnel sets. Uh, any, the under coverage is going to play a three-way on the, the tight end and two backs, all right? Uh, coverage is also going to bracket any two tight receivers. I'll go into this. We'll start talking a little bit about uh, the bunches and clusters. We're going to cube, all right, any three tight receivers, or we have another way to do this. Now, you're to talk about comboing. We'll combo three receivers versus any bunches or clusters, okay? I'll talk a little bit about that then, okay? Uh, let me get this first again. Uh, the 6 2 top, we're talking about six yards from the numbers, okay? All right? Ball's in the far hash, I'd be six yards from the top. The ball was to me, I'd be on the top. Okay, ball's to me, six to top. Ball's to me, it's on top. Top of the numbers, my divider. Ball's on the far hash, I'm six yards from the numbers. Okay, and if the ball was in the middle of the field, the next one should say, no, it didn't. Uh, it just said middle of the field. Not the ball's in the middle of the field, we're two yards from the numbers is our divider to cover one for our corners. Okay, all right. Again, this is just showing 11 personnel how we would do this. Divide the rules at the corner. Divide the rules at the corner. All right. We got a stand up. We're gonna play convert technique. I'm gonna go through all that. Slam for how we do it. I think it's one of the toughest things in cover one. Okay. It's how you gonna play the inside guys on those guys, and that steers a lot of people away from playing man coverage versus 10 personnel. Is because how are you gonna handle this guy? Does he play a catch technique? Play off man, my God, they're running the quick out coach, how are we stopping it, you know, okay? And uh, uh, so we're gonna go through some of that. Uh, if we had a tight end, we'll play a catch technique, and I'll talk a little about that, okay? But I wanna spend most of the time, I wanna talk about convert, make sure we do it, and then I got film, I'm gonna show you how we're doing that, all right? Uh, uh, and then we can we can tag also if we wanted a, a one rat as a low hole player, okay? So now we can do a cover one with a low hole player and a high hole. All right, now spend time we can talk about that if you need to, okay? All right? Um, all right? And that's showing wrap with a safety. I'll, I'll draw it up later. We'll wrap with a, uh, uh, a backer. I'll show you how we'll do that when we come back and talk to us, okay? <coughs> so I want to go ahead and start. We're going to the wrestling room. All right. We're going to do this the second thing we're doing here. We're saying balls inside, balls to my right. I'm the inverted. I'm the strong safety. I'm on a number two receiver, the inside receiver, okay, inside the slot. All right? The tough, I'm going to first off, the tough thing to cover one, all right, because obviously, uh, you know, if you play off man on an inside guy, you know, it's covering the slant and all those things. The technique we're going to talk about is called convert, okay? Convert is this. Alright, I'm going to use, we talk about the same form, we talk about the different, our cover two, talk about slam forward. Alright, so I want to slam forward, I'm going to step my inside foot first, balls inside, I'm going to take inside leverage of it, okay, I'm going to step my inside foot first, okay, and we're going to go through the three releases, okay, let's say he releases, and he releases up the field to my outside, okay, and he's going to release up the field on, on, on vertical here, okay, from here, as he releases, Okay, I want to shuffle over, okay, all right, I'm going to shuffle over to him, and I want to, like basketball, I want to take the charge. I'm going to let him run right into my, right through me, okay. When he runs through me, I'm going to let the contact that he makes turn me, okay, all right. I'm going to let him turn me. As he turns up, I'm going to convert to outside level. Now, who's got the, who's got the post? Free safety, right? There's free safety right here, he's got the post. So I'm going to convert, <coughs> and I'll put myself in position for what cut? The seven cut or the three cut? All right? Take it back. I'm going to go through all the releases, okay? So even if he goes wide, let's go a little wider on the angle. I'm going to shuffle over to him, right? I'm going to take the charge. I want to make all the contact. I want to get right through there, right? As he goes through me, I'm going to convert myself to outside leverage. Knowing when I'm playing a seven cut, I'm playing a three cut. Okay? If he goes, to the, if he goes on a post cut, if he goes to the, he's going to the three, I'm going to undercut. Now I'm going to play, I can go ahead and long arm play with the ball. Have we got that? Okay. A 
Let's go inside release, and it says inside release on the slant. If he goes, if he come right at me, I should pat, 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 right? He inside releases, I should get all of him, right? He comes inside release, I should jam him, I'll blow him underneath, play the football. Have I got that? Okay? So if my leverage first, my, I'm inside leverage, I'm protecting the slant by alignment. Anything else that goes vertical, I'm going to convert myself to outside leverage. Okay? So let's say he releases inside and goes up the field, vertical. Okay? I'm going to skate here, same thing, we try to get the hands on. Alright? He went to my inside, that's fine. Alright? I'm going to take the charge. I don't have to convert outside because he's already done what? He's already converted for me, huh? He's running right to move my health. Okay? <clears throat> this, doing this, you can take a lesser athlete and you can cover the scout. Okay? The other thing we have to pedal and go chase the outcut and all that stuff. Alright, so we went inside release and vertical. Okay? If he goes on the seven cut, I'm, I should be in good position for that. If he goes out cut, I'm on outside leverage on that. If he releases inside with slant, right, I'm going to shuffle, shuffle, right? And I'll be lead step, trail step. Okay? Inside releases, I'll be lead step, trail step. The outside releases, I'll be lead step, trail step, lead step, trail step, take the charge. Okay? If he inside releases and goes vertical, lead step, trail step, lead step, trail step, take the charge. He's already converted it for me. He's running right to the post player. Okay? Alright. Next thing is go, let's go to the inside release, and then we're going to run a six cut. Okay? So he's going to inside release. Lead step, trail step, lead step, trail step, boom. All right, I turn, okay. On an inside release, okay, I still want, I'm still gonna be here because of the seven cut. He comes back out of his line, okay. On any inside release, I'm gonna play the low hip, okay. Because he works up, okay, I'm gonna play low hip. He runs that end cut, I'm gonna undercut the six cut. Okay, same thing as the left. I'm going to play a little bit. He undercut goes to post. I'm going to undercut the post. Okay, now it goes over the top. The free station cut the fit. Okay, so if he releases to my help, I'm going to under it. I'm going to play low shoulder. Okay, I'm going to play low shoulder, be inside release. Okay. All right. Let's go, uh, let's go now. Let's, let's go uh, quick out release. Okay, I slam footwork, pat, pat, pat. He should run right into me. I should be sitting right on him. Okay. Outside release, he's away from my help. I gotta be where? On, on top. Because what if he wheels it up the side? That's mine. Okay? So we wanna know, just like the corners, we'll talk about the corners later. <clears throat> Where's my help? I have a moving bracket. I have a non, I have a stationary bracket beside me. Okay? If he does anything going towards my help, I'm going to play low hip, low shoulder. Okay? If he goes anything out, let's do this one more time. Right? Okay? If he does that out, i got to play on top. Okay? But he ought to be sit, sitting all over the quick out. Okay? okay? Everybody got that? Okay. Biggest thing there is the feet work. Because the most common thing for a dude, the guy runs that out of him, and they will do it. Okay? We're trying to hop backwards. Okay? That's not what we want to do. We want to go ahead and lead step, trail step, and take the charge. Okay? So again, he releases outside, lead step, trail step, take the charge, boom, convert. Alright? There's a seven cut. I'm playing outside of the seven right now. Okay? And for me, if I go seven, I would be underneath the seven. Okay? And you gotta go play it. Now we'll talk about that. We'll talk about it. Okay. In phase, out of phase. Okay? If I'm in phase with a guy, do the same thing we teach a corner on a lease, okay? I'm gonna hook, hook, and lean on a guy. If I'm out of phase with a guy, he's got right on top of his chance of that's what you're doing on seven cut, okay? Seven cut, you shouldn't be in phase unless he's slow. Okay, seven cut, it ought to be like this, okay? If I'm seven cut, I play the indicators, okay? Hands go up on the indicators, I play the indicators all the way, okay? I'm gonna cat and move, I'm going through the hand, I'm pulling it down, okay? All right? If it goes seven cut, we should go right now. If he goes seven cut, we'll play an indicator, we'll cap the ball out. Alright? He goes in, if he continues to go vertical, if I have a little hit on the shoulder, I'll see the ball. Okay? If he goes in, I'll make a play for the ball on the free safety, he's going to knock him out or pick the ball. Okay?
Okay, he's running right into it. We talked about the same thing about it, right? And then he gets past 18 yards. Heck, that's free safety. Got to get seen to seen. All right, he should get seen to seen. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, make sure, when you teach it, okay, we want to make sure we're going through all. You got to be able to teach it just like it in order. You know, outside release. You know, you go outside release, quick out, outside release, seven cut, outside release, out cut. Right? Then you want to take it to the inside release. Inside release, slant. Then you score up the route tree. You know, slant, curl, six cut, post cut. Go right up, go through all the steps we're supposed to see. Basic concepts, though, right? Is that if if he releases inside to my help, I'm playing low hip, low shoulder. If he releases outside, all right, I'm going to take on top. All right? If he goes on top, I'm on top. If he's pushing vertical, I'm going to convert it to outside leverage. I'm going to start here for the slant. I'm going to convert back to outside. All right, knowing that my help's in the middle third. Is everybody good on that? Okay. Here's another thing that helps I'm going to go back on the run game. Cover one. One of the toughest things in cover one is how you going to get this guy to run support. Well, if I'm playing, if I'm playing convert, you can play run support. But if I'm sitting like this and I'm playing here and I go slam over and he comes block me, now I'm not off the Boom. I'm still out of position now. You can get a better run support off your invert player in cover one. Okay? So same thing. If I was here on slam, I know I'm pretty safe. He's running the alley. I got an alley player inside of me. Same thing. He does this. Right? If there's a chance that he's going to go leverage one player, he's going to come from my outside peck. The ball's coming from him. He's probably going to work towards my outside third. Okay? If he will start to work towards my outside third, same thing. He can come and choke and work and squeeze. So I just slide my hand up late, and I'm going to keep my leverage on the ball carrier. Okay? Everybody got that? Any questions about that right now? No? I'm good? All right. Good. All right. Next thing, can I get another receiver up? Can I give me another receiver. So we just play the first trick. I need two receivers. Okay? All right. Here's what changes. All right? We want to play convert versus one guy by our side. Let's say we've got trips. Okay? We've got two receivers. I'm talking two and three. Okay? If we get two guys together, all right, we're going to bracket these two guys. So if I'm bracketing three and two, all right, I'm going to go to outside work. I'm going to squat. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm working outside leverage, and if I'm bracketing, we're going to walk it out. Okay? So now I'm going here, and we're going to walk. I'm, we're playing in and out. I got another another guy, a free safety roll down. He's going to play in and out on two and three with me. Okay? So if we're playing in and out. Let's go first. Let's go push it up, and you come in the flat. Ready? Go. I'm going to walk it out. There it is. I'm going to hang with this. Hang with it. Hang with it. Hang with it. Hang with it. So I feel like I'm getting leverage, then I take it. Right? And that's giving my other guy time to come in here. Right? And give my other inside guy time to break on it. Okay? So he's going to do the same thing here. Ball's inside him, ball's inside. Again, he's going to come down to the guy, right? He's going to walk you out, right? Cut, 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 boom. I'm working with this guy here, all right? We got that? Okay. Um, all right, let's take it through one more time. Let's talk about, all right, as we talked about stand-up, playing convert. Let's talk about if he's a tight end. I'm just going to this by side. If he's a tight end, Okay, we want to know also what he's not going to, he's not threatening me, he should be a threat, obviously immediately vertical right now. So we want to play a catch. All catch, catch is just convert, we're not giving him the leverage. Okay? So if I'm playing a catch, if he comes off, same thing. I want to pat, pat, pat. I'm just gonna wait. Okay? I gotta let him close the distance first. Okay? The same thing. I'm still gonna play the open weapon, but there's my help. Okay, so he releases up the field, same thing. I'm here, I'm outside, right? He works up the inside. My help, I'm going to play low hip, low shoulder, and I'm just running with the free safety. Okay? Tight end, again, I'm outside. For some reason, he goes to the flat. Okay, I should be in great position now to drive the flat. Okay? So I'm patting my feet. Okay? So we get a tight end, it's the same thing. We're going to play the same basic concept, and when he goes inside, I've got my help there. Okay? If he goes outside, it should be flat foot sitting this and be on him. Okay? The, the, the tough one is you got to go with the intermediate routes with the uh, Y option. It's half dry on him right now, you know, and he's all over the guy. Okay? Those are the ones you got to work on again, but it ought to be the same thing. If he Y option that pushes that thing up, right? I want to catch him in here, right? And what happens is what you got to be careful of is a physical guy will have on the catch is he'll do exactly what he just did. He puts his hands up, boom, he's going to push off on him. Okay? So let's take it back. We're going to do the same thing with this one right here. He comes up. Anytime we're in man, if that hand comes up to push, 
I want to grab it. All right? Anytime I got to put, if he pushes, I'm not pulling it in. That's the thing. matter. The same thing. We're going to get out there in the corner doing the same thing. If I'm a corner this guy and he goes to push and push off into hand, I'm going to grab it. He pushes me away. Common thing for guys to do a man coverage is if I get on you, they want to, they've got all the jam, jam, push. He goes, I want to. Don't do that. Don't push him away from you. Okay? If anything, I'm going to use. If he gives, if he gives me it, I'm going to hold it. Okay? I think another part, I left this one out. On the converter. I think you got to teach him how to hold it. Okay? So if he, if he outside releases, okay? And I go lead, lead step, trail step. And I'm going to convert, right? I want to take the charge and convert. Okay? We want to grab the back of the shirt. Okay? Grab the back of the shirt, pull it down, and I take myself in the trail position, okay? As I convert. You know, most officials, what are they looking for? If you turn around, okay? They're looking for, if I, if I take the shirt and I twist it and I take the number of turns, they'll call you. But if you grab it over here on the outside and you pull it down, you can, it, it, that's it. You gotta teach them how to pull it, because they're gonna want to do it, okay? And you don't want them up there grabbing jerseys up here twisting numbers, because that's when you get called, okay? So, all right? Two things little tricks on it is I can do this. I lead step trail step, I take the charge, okay? I can put one hand in front as it goes, right? Slowing him down, all right? And that's the burger, okay? If you guys can be good at that, you can cover anybody, okay? That's a big one. Bill, how, how can you cheat when you need to? I got a guy burning it, 4-4, four, four, here we go, on 4-6, I'm going to cover it, okay? All right? Any questions about that? Convert? Yeah. Um, when he's playing catch on the tight end on the drag. Drag underneath? Yeah. Okay. We talked about that. Uh, let me go. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's turn. I'm going to turn it. Can I get two more guys in? We'll talk about 21 personnel. Let's talk about that. Let's so keep on out this way. Okay. So tight end on this side. Okay. I want you to go ahead and be up. Uh, let's start with the fullback and the back. So two backs and then we'll go to, then we'll go to one back. Okay. We said if any 21, you play, you'd be out of back. There you go. All right, good. Any 21, any 21, we said we're going to play a three-way. Okay? And we're going to take this invert. Coach Wynn's going to be the mic. And Coach Wynn's going to come to the outside back. You can be outside back and take it on outside. Okay? All right. Any 21 person will play a three-way. Us three got the invert. Okay? So again, if we go at full flow this way, full flow this way, if he goes underneath, he's got the first thing. You got the first cross. You got the first thing coming up. I got the first thing coming out. Okay. General thing is this: when you go to tight end, you're usually going to get full flow. You're going to get tight end crossing. Okay. Him to the flat, and you take the nice. Okay, go. So you take the crosser. You got the back coming up. I got this guy coming out. Okay. Take it back. Next general one you see is what? You see uh, pull this little again. Little, so pull back to the flat. And let's go a tight invert, okay? All right, and then let's go ahead and take the bait on the side, right? Set so kick, catch, 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 catch. He's got the vertical, I got the flat, he's got the last back, okay? All right, say so, okay. But coach, I don't want my tight, I don't want my back to cover the tight invert. Where's your free safety now? I'm in the top right of the middle. Top. I'm sitting right here at 10, man. There you go, okay? He ain't gonna blow your top off, because I got it. He's running, he's running right to me. Okay? So any 21, we're gonna play a three-way. Now go one, this is two left, so the uh, gun, we'll just one back. Okay? So I'm gonna put a few tight ends on it. Still be safe, we'll keep the tight end in there. Now I'm gonna catch him, and I got a back, put the back on this side for the safe side. Okay? Again, so then I got another wide out there, so that ain't works. Now he's playing, the bird on that wide out here. We're over here on these two. Two of us, we've got two adjacent receivers, we're gonna make a bracket call. Bracket, bracket, bracket. We got this. Okay? And now it's it. Now he comes under who's got the first in. He does. Okay? I got the first out. Okay? Tough one. He goes vertical, now you come out. Okay, ready? Go. If he's going vertical, okay, I'm gonna hang, hang, hang. This is your job. Hang, 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 hang. Give my back the time to get it. Then I'm gonna take, then I'm gonna take the play. Okay? You want him to play that convert, trying to get outside of that convert? Yes. So you help yep. the side. Yep. Even though it's going to him. Yep. It's still going to work outside. Because it's the same thing. Yep. One thing I'm saying is that he wears your helmet. That's there. Okay. Back, 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 take charge. Yep. So it's 
So the, what happens is this. Look at the mic. That's what happens is what? If I fly on any type of run and I'm low, mm -hmm. okay, let's just go. Ready? Go, he goes vertical. Alright? Oh shit. Go. Keep going. Oh shit, shit, shit. Good. Free safety is there. I can go in and play chase and still catch him. Okay? Because he's running right to the free. Okay? So that way I say, okay, they're going to get impatient here going, even the three or whatever is going to get impatient. Don't be impatient. You've got time. He's not, that's my help. He's right there. Okay? So if I do fight, so I'm going to go and I fight in there. Boom. I can go chase the guy. Get it. Now what i got to get to is where? I want to get to here because he's running to him, right? Okay? So I'm going to work outside levers. So if he goes seven cut, I can take that. Okay? Now, the other thing that happens when you don't give it to you, they go, this is more not the spread, the tight stuff. 21 personnel, tight twins. Okay? You go twins over there. Okay? Now you can figure out how you want this thing. If you go corners over, yeah. oh, red alert. I got the corner out by myself. That ain't good. Okay? Alright? Well, we wouldn't want that. So the first thing we would say to this is we say stick it. You got him, and we are back to AC. Okay? If the tight end's not a threat, then fine. Play three way to do it. I'm just giving you another option we do this. Let's say this guy's athletic, and their number one play is now power pass back to the tight end corner route. That's a problem. Okay? All right? With everything there is, there's always a problem with all of them. You've got to make sure that they get the solutions to so it. all they do. The other thing to do is also, then we can say we don't want to match it. Don't match it to the corner on your corner got the tight end. Okay, and then we can play. Okay. Alright? Okay, let's go back inside. I got some guys. Okay. He goes, he reaches inside the fighter. I'm, I'm gonna play low hip, low shoulder. Okay? So, alright. What about the slant? Or what about the you know direct uh, release inside? Or this is where most most beneficial for us, it's the uh, uh, tear screen, we call it tear. When he X goes inside, you know, two's blocking him when he runs the tear screen inside. So here's the thing. Any inside flat release, we talked about drafting. Okay? If it, any, any inside flat release, we draft. So if I was on it, number one receiver, balls inside, okay? If he pushed slant, right? I'm going to lead step, trail step, okay? If he goes inside of me, I'm going to draft him. I'm going to go nose to butt right now. Okay? Why? It's picks and rubs. Okay? It's all for picks and rubs. Alright? So we want to draft that. So I'm now nose to butt, because I'm low hip anyway. I'm going to draft it first to declares. Once it declares, then I go underneath the plate. It also helps me on the little bang route. You guys see the receiver? He comes in, boom, works back out. If you play high hip, high shoulder, he's going to be banging. He's going to be open. But well, we want to be his low hip, shoulder, shoulder. So if he goes in, if he tries to return on it, he's got to run right through my body. Okay, so we're going to take that, we're going to draft. There's a term we're going to draft that. Same thing happens now, we say, so it's a slant, just like the under route, would be just like, or just like the mesh route, which would be the same as the X tear screen going inside. So if he goes inside, we want to draft. Why? To get myself away from the blocker. I'm going to, I'm going to draft on the thing, I'm going to get right in his dagum hip. Any inside release, we draft. Now go to the slant, the under, the mesh, uh, our tear screen. Okay? You doing that? Let's see how I do here. I haven't done very well so far, so. Okay. Big thing here is, I'll, again, I want to talk about the convert stuff. So we'll look at the inverts. Okay. Uh, this first one is going to be. Think I have a bracket or not? All right. That's it. This is a convert right here. Okay. Again, we should be flat foot sit. Okay. There we go. There's the out route. Okay. Check him. Opens too much. Doesn't take the charge. Right. There's the slant. 
can't take, that's not, you can't do that, all right? But if I do, which is going to happen, did you know, I don't care how long you coach it, this is going to happen. If I do, where do I go? Low hip, low shoulder. Okay, he's going back inside, I'm low hip, low shoulder. Okay. All right, we should have, no, well, they're both playing convert, okay, again, there you go, watch either one of them, they're both doing the same thing, okay, okay, <coughs> pat, 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 okay, pat, 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 lead step, trail step, He's going to cross over, this guy is, and go, don't do that, okay? You can see how the width of our corner here, why? He's outside the divider. He's outside the divider, I'm going to play my divider, okay? Okay? Let's take a look. At the I should be inside leverage, he's outside my divider, okay? I'm going to get the slant. Come to the reception point. Let's go to the next one. Okay, there's an empty. Guys, it shouldn't be on here. It's not cover one. This is like this is a ghost chip. Okay. This is a ghost chip. Okay. So again, we called one with a ghost. So they went empty. We check ghost. Now we're going to bring six. Okay. We're going to bring him in here. We'll bring six. All right. These guys should. <clears throat> we get this right. The guy down here. That's it. We should be patent. He should pat. No, that's not right. He should pat. <coughs> you don't want to give him those routes again. There's a free. He's the only one giving a chance to walk out. Why? Because he runs about four nine. So walk your ass out. Make sure you don't get beat. Okay. All right. That's wrong. He should have patted. Watch. You got the corner top. That is what we want. Pat. 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 We'll take the slant, slant hitch. Coach, sorry, we missed that. How long are they patting? Through are the they three patting? Step, I should, my eye should be here. Okay. I should pat through the three step, right? If I don't see the set and transfer right now, then I'll go ahead and get my pedal. This is about right, right here. This one right here, he's doing right. Corn, he should go pat, 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 no three step, go to the pedal. Maybe slide it, bring the end guy out. <coughs> okay. All right, this is a free safety coming down. With, again, we want to show too high. We want to show two. We're going to walk him down. He's going to play catch on the tight end. Okay. He should play catch on the tight end. Back it up. All right, let's take a look right here. This is how he does. All right. I don't like the route here. He should have been driving it tighter to the guy. See, he's working over the top. Bad angle. Okay? I would rather see right here him coming to this angle here on the guy. And now I'm a better chance. Because if that guy would have stayed on an under route, he would have been open. Right? Because I'm high. He's going tight right now. i got to straighten that. It ought to be 
he crosses his feet right here. It looks like he looks like it's one cross and then, then he crosses them. It ought to be lead, lead trail, lead trail, and driving that tight. Okay. We go out cover one. There's our post player. Pat, pat, pat. Okay. And he's going to roll push in the middle of the field. Let's talk about the same thing. Let's talk about the corner. I'm off man. Okay? If you're playing off man, what we're talking about playing, all right? If he stems inside the divider, you can slow your pedal down. Okay? You don't need pedal at the same, the same speed. If he stems inside the divider, slow your pedal down. Why? Right? Get ready to drive the dig, get ready to undercut the post. Okay? He comes outside the divider, key, you got to play a top down man. He comes inside, you find low hip, low shoulder. Okay? Let's see how he does. Uh, probably need to slow a little more, but you can see at least he's driving it, which ain't real great. But so if he gives us that cut, we should be undercutting the six cut. If that thing continues. Here you go. Cover one. I don't get the far. It should start. He should. He came down too soon. You're giving away. He should start there and then walk down to this. We got. There's a bracket at the top. Okay. We're gonna bracket two and three. So we should walk out here. Walk out. He drives the out cut. I should start to walk out, out, out. Now I'm going to push over the top of two. Again, he's outside my divider. I'm inside. The outside releases. I had to take an angle to cut that off. I'm top down. I'm playing high shoulder. Don't run at him. Run over the top of him. He should be tighter. Still want pat, pat, pat. Roll push. He needs to push more in the middle of the field. Coach, is the blitz peel on top? Is that based on where the back set, or is that just because they got to the back to step that way? No, that yeah, that's off the back. Um, this is actually what we're playing. It's, it's uh, we're rushing six. The outside backer's got the back, <coughs> okay, so we can still play with a, a, a post player. Instead of playing six and playing straight zero, we can rush six and, and still have a high post player. We'll put it the outside back to the back. He's got it. Okay. Um, again, this is actually zero coverage. Okay. Oh crap. That's what she said. <laughs> hey. Hey, far out. In the double convert with the trips. Yeah, you know, high school we probably don't have as much obviously not as much time to yep. coach that up. Yeah. Um, is that a game plan thing for you or would no. you suggest one or the other for high school with our limited time? Um well, I think here's the thing is I think if if you're gonna if you're gonna play man and they're gonna get close together, if you play if you just play straight convert, somebody's gonna get pink. Or one can't play convert, somebody's gonna play off man. Right. So you could do that. You could say, okay, the, the inside guy's gonna play off man, and the inside guy's gonna play convert. The other guy's gonna play off man. Because they both play convert <coughs> and they exchange. Right. They're gonna be smacking each other. Okay. Yeah. Or you can press one. Right, okay. Yeah. There's other ways to get around the bracket. You press one, you play, as long as you play two different levels, you can get off the thing. Yeah. You know, I want to just read another couple of books. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, this is a, that, that Casper call with the, uh, we'll do it with a back in there though. So we're going to drop him out. Okay. Um, still, we want to play the convert here. Okay. We should play convert at the top. I think there should be a seven cut up here. It may be nice. Nope. He rushes in. There's a push off. Talk about. Okay. When he pushes, you can see him. He should should grab. He pushes, grab. Okay. Okay. Let's go down here. Good. Should slow the pedal down. He should. He's off. He should be reading through the three step anyway. So you see that. You should see that ball coming out. Oh, you know, we're bringing the backers and we we'll drop these two. What's your uh, your eye progression for your drop? Slant. We say slant because uh, they're not a great dropper. So we say slant screen. Play the quarterback. So the first thing he should come. He should come off. Should open his head, yeah. eyes a little bit. Yes. <laughs> you want to yeah. play? You want to play the screen, slant first, then the screen, and then just play the quarterback. We're trying to get too too fancy with really. yeah. Okay, all right. We probably should be in a bracket down here on these two guys, on these two, the tight they are. Yeah. Yeah. He attacks my leverage. Low hip, sh low shoulder. Okay. So we do here. Inside release, he converted himself, stay outside, low hip, low shoulder, you ready for the seven cut? All right, let's just cover three drop, let's see how we do it. Okay, again, we're going to start in the too high. You see it, and he's going to walk it down. I want to show again, I'm going to show the cover two. I'm going to show the two shell. When we talk about indicators there, what's the indicators? Every week, what's the indicators? We're going to talk about, hey, there's a quarterback pattern, and he's calling it out. Well, usually it's the hands. You can't see him here. Usually it's the hands. The hands pop up, there's the indicator. Get down to it. Okay? Wait for the indicator. All right? So look at the top. This is not same straight three. This is a one robber. Smack a jig hit. Okay. Okay, just cover three. Two flat down here. Watch the safety. He should be playing this top down. Okay? He should be playing this top down. He has to be more on his curl. Okay? Expand. He needs to expand a little more. He needs to get to this guy. So there's a spot route, right? Curl, flat. Corner out. And you want to invert collision on two there too, right? Yes. You just it. You should get a piece of him. That'll help him stay on the right. Throw one. Yep. He needs to hang with this thing right here. Get a piece. I don't know. He's, he's taking it right now. He's not even snapping. Again, again, we show that we're showing too high. 
he showed it too early. You see his crew's coming there, that's too early. Well, his hands are up. Looking here, right here. Yeah, he's got his butt to this cat. This is at the top. Okay. We will do this on the. Uh, you can watch the backer, or it should be this guy over here. We will man turn and zone. You can see him do that. We call it. Air, we're going to airplane the guy. Okay. You know, it used to be this cardinal standard that said zone, you zone turn, man, you man turn. But, but so many times in zone turn, these backers, if they zone turn, they'll lose his ass completely, and the guy's, getting, the guy's catching the ball two yards from him. You know what I mean? So we just find it better. If the guy's right on top of you, and he comes in like this, we want to airplane this thing. Just turn into his butt, keep him <coughs> One, What we say is that, all right, I'm probably at the top of this. If you're in a zone, we say a zone right here, this is like my room, okay? If you got one guy in your room, get on him. There's only one guy in your room, get on him. What if there's two guys in your room? There's a guy here and there's a guy down here. You cover it top down. But there's only one guy in your room, cover it, okay? That's a, a bait lift we talked about. We're going to bail at the corner spot. Okay, we should show 11 up. We're trying to show a zero blitz look. All right, we want to give him that zero blitz look and we want to coordinate the blitz. Get the free safety over here, covering that guy down. Because he's showing blitz. Okay. Now obviously, we want to coordinate over here. We set 11 up. But ain't gonna, he's not going to be down here showing blitz, and he's showing blitz. They know it ain't, ain't going to look right. So the guy that's off, play off. The guy that's free safety in the field, we're going to go ahead and give him a look so he's uh, thinking we're getting pressure from this. We talked about we go from 11 up. You got to know which we're baiting them into. Fade. Okay. He started out in bad position. By ba he's bailed too far inside. See the separation there. This guy should have just kept on working outside and work away from him. That's not good right there. I should have bailed on top of him, run track in his lane. Only he does he just come back. I get in front of him, cut him off. Okay. This is a corner blitz. Okay. Again, we want to show the two shell. So we should two high safeties. We're going to bring this guy up the corner the top. We'll push this safety back to the middle third. The safety in the boundary. That half field look guy is going to be the outside third player.
He's got a curl flat to wheel player. His eyes got to turn around. Doesn't turn his eyes around. He should see this. He never that back right there. He never see it. He never gets his eyes around. Should be vision on the quarterback. Okay, you get the same look. Oh, Fred. What are you doing here? Okay, we're bringing the corner down here. Guys, for us, this is it's four man pressure. We run this just as much as we're going to run uh, over and under front. Okay. Alright, let's check again at the top. <coughs> this is third. He's outside third. I should push back. down here at the bottom. You tell him here, this back right here. If you only got one, cover him down. He is, he is your vision point, right? I should cover him down. He should be a little flatter. Make sure he can get, get underneath the outcut. He's too straight back. If the guy runs the outcut, he's screwed. Okay. You want that drop back on the line of scrimmage to do a, a zone turn for that shallow cross going across the field? Yeah, if, uh, oh, yeah. here's what we tell him. Okay, if I only got one, I'm going to cover, cover him down. Okay? Right. He's not a threat. Right? He, he goes vertical where he's out of my vision. I want a zone turn back in, and I look for the first crosser coming back, and I've obviously got a squeeze. Right. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's check again. We got two back because it doesn't be curl class stuff. If we got two, we tell him he's a spot dropper. So now we're going to load the numbers, but we're going to play curl too flat. Okay? So we do this with spot dropping here. He's got two. He's got five and four. He's going to go to the numbers and he's going to play curl flat. If he's only got one, I'm going to cover him down. This one's 09. Yeah, some of these are, some of these are 08, some of them 09. Alright. Um, this, this is matchup stuff versus pass, okay? So we're matching it up underneath, okay? We're going to see the spot route again down here, alright? We should have a bracket right here between on two and three. So he runs out. We're going to go cut, cut, cut. He's going to take the out cut. And I'm working low shoulder on them on the seven cut. So underneath there. Okay, low shoulder on seven. This is too high matchup. Okay, a lot of our same principles are going to apply though. Okay. So he should be low, 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 low shoulder on the seven cut. I got the out cut. Uh, we probably quartered it up, and he's he's got this guy. Watch the corner at the top. 
We talked about the inside releases. We're going to slam footwork. He's going to inside release, so we should be on low shoulder. Draft position underneath it. Again, top, we're going to get a bracket call between these two, two and three. Okay, they both work out. I got the out cut, I got the number three. There's a slam game versus the pass. Get down, nose is going to cop. bracket between on these two guys. Backer's going to have that one. Slam on the outside. I'm working underneath them. This is a... Alright, there you go. Same thing, I should go inside release, low hip, low shoulder, because I got help on top. All right? We're going to wall up the inside route. Okay, bracket. You, get, you take the inside route, I should undercut the six cut. This is our base coverage. And when we do it right, it's hard to do the ball. Okay. Same concept here, we're playing convert technique. So it's a squat. Give you the opportunity to play the quick outs and stuff. Okay, again, we're going to have a bracket here. The backer's going to overrun the slant cut. Shoot. The guy's going out right now. Okay, we're actually bracketing these two guys. So I got the slant. He overruns it though, because that thing should be open right there. Why would they bracket that on the wing? Huh? Why would you bracket that if he's so tight? The wing? Yeah. Because um, the back is right what, there. Right now, one, most of the stuff, we're going to do this stuff is off the buff. Again, we're going to go into every week and talk about the routes they're going to run. If I know this guy's running out, we're always going to try to play, let the route play the guy's coming to. Think about what cover two. That's all it says. If you, have cut, if you have a cut, if you have a convert with the corner down there on the on the number one, right? This and guy? Yeah, and he's no. seen them to the safety anyways, right? Yeah, no, this is a, this is a too high. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, yeah, this is this is all too high. Okay. You call this cover five, coach? Yeah. Two would be straight two. Mm -hmm. Five would be uh, our matchup. There should be some cover two on this thing. Don't pay attention to the box. We do that everything in the world. Okay. Okay, here we go. Our main concepts are going to stay the same, though. Okay? Let's convert. 
Okay. Now I'm great on feet work, crosses over. So I'm gonna take my slam foot work. I'm gonna slam, it should lead trail. Alright. And then I want to get what? Low hip, low shoulder on the guy. Okay. Take it goes flat. He's outside. I gotta be on top, high hip, high shoulder. Okay, we're a man here. He goes under, we gotta work a draft position and work to a low hip, low shoulder position on inside cut. Basically, I want to make sure we understand is, is that, that that technique that converts. We can, it's basically playing the same thing when we play a uh, uh, two matchup or cover one. It gives a chance for you to play a hell of a lot tighter coverage on the inside slots. Okay? Play catch on the tight end. Just put catch here on the tight end. All right? You don't want to pedal off that guy. Want to play catch here. In the inside cup, we got to be low hip, low shoulder. You never don't never bracket the tight end in the back. Yes, yes we will. Yeah. Um, Just not by game plan. Or yeah. As a general rule, we're gonna forget. if they're on the same side, they're bracketed. Things will pull it off if we said uh, we're not getting it back out this week or it's not a threat. We'll stick them with the back. You know what I mean? We stick them with the backer. Yeah. Uh, if there's a tight end that may be more athletic, and we roll, I don't want the backer on him. Those would be the things we call it all. Yeah. As a general rule, yes. We, as a general rule, any two receivers get close together, we got we're bracketed in the sucker. Okay? 
And the problem with, with Tampa is also it's on play action pass. If you do anything and release the back late, there ain't nobody for it. Okay? So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna cover down inside. And we do a little our free comes off our middle carry player. Safety's on the half. I can draw this up if you want. Yeah. What, yeah. Mm -hmm. what front are you playing? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, multiple fronts? Out of this? But you, yeah. well, it's a three-man rush, so we'll either do it with either, uh, depends down the distance. We can be in two fives. Um, we can be head up and, you know, play the backside gap versus run. Okay? Or there should be a snap here like this. We're up Tampa, which means now we are, uh, we're two four eyes, and the backers are on the outside, and it should look like our, our trying to get. It should look more like our bear and Oki. He kind of gets out a little early. Now it should look like the, the bear front, right? These guys should walk back late. It should look like cover because one. Because you have a low hole player now too, are you expanding the width of the drop by the outside backers? We are covering down two, three, and four inside with the backers. Right, so I mean, are you playing their coverage more like a two seam concept? Well, that for me, the difference would be like uh, because in Tampa you got a high hole runner. Right. But that's usually the mic is gone. So those outside backers, I mean, were in the vicinity of between two and three, not hitting them. Right. Because they had to converge. Yeah. But now you got that guy. So right. are you playing them like you had a little hole all the time, so they're kind of expanding to the inside shoulder too? Of well, the safeties? No, the, the outside guys. The outside guys, they're covering down two, three, and four. To the hip of two. Yep. The He's inside hip of two. Uh, if three's in the if, if, like, we're covering down two, three, and four. If my guy's in the backfield, it's control pedal straight back. If it's not, I'm going to be inside of four, I'm going to be inside of two, and I'm going to be straight back. Okay, how far are they going to carry? 10 to 12. And shallow cross, you're passing off? That is still no coverage. No coverage. That should be inside that cat. Let's see. I would, and it's all control pedal with my vision quarterback, so I should be here, inside of that guy. He's in the backfield, should be straight back. Now I went out, I should expand over. And I should be inside this guy. You expect the corner to reroute one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see how shot it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. Again, it's about two, three, and four. So I got him. I got him. I'm straight back. He should be inside of that guy. You're trying to get any kind of collision on two? Yeah, we're going to try to get a piece of it. I tell you, we're not going to go out of the way. We want a vision of quarterback. Right. So he should have got a piece of it right there. Guys run right next to right next to him. Yeah. Cross his face. Yeah. Now, you don't want them open their hips at all, though. You want to take a square and drop yeah. the back pedal. Yep. The only time they would cross over all is if we were uh, we, we were giving an up call. Mm -hmm. We're showing an 11 up kind of look. Yeah. They and he's got to come width. from here. He's got to get some width before he control pedals. Yeah. Right. Were you talking to uh, the D line about the pass rush? That's a three minute rush. You know, ideally we want him to be as to this is that when he sees, let's watch this a little bit then. All right? We tell him you got a free rush. Yeah. Okay? But ideally when he see, when you see him kick, we've got to work to the outside. Right? Now if he gives it to you inside, take it. But if he's not, we've got to get back outside and rush. We we prefer to the skate planes to be inside. We don't want them outside. We'd rather him just because we're in zone coverage and because uh, you know we've got guys here with vision on them. If he's going to escape, we want him to escape up and through, not out here. So this is not good. What about like from bear? Huh? What about if they're double three techniques and you're doing that bear one? It's the same thing. Same thing. I don't Are they problem. trying to fight when back? I see across it, we fight space. back outside. Yep. Okay. Coach, Tampa is strategically for that one 
long yardage, third down, screen. Yeah, what? we we played long yardage, and then we played a lot in the red zone. Okay, really? we'll play a third and long, and we'll play it on the fifteen yard line. Going in, I mean, all the way. How far in? I mean, uh, fifteen to about the seven. Because okay. any of your other zones down here are scored. Okay, so we play a goal line zone, seven across. But once you get past that, I think it's ball about eight to nine to ten. There's too much area in there behind them, so it's tough. So it's that spot between eight yards and about 15, 16 yards. Uh, we like this, and we're going to play zone coverage. Because you have the, you got enough underneath guys and you know, third level too. Because you have. Yep, and then all and all yeah. the basically down there in the red zone, all those, those two half those safeties, they're just playing fade. <coughs> I'm playing a fade here. Yeah, I, this is safety over here. Case. I'm playing a fade out here. I'm playing a fade on that side. And then basically, we still got a middle hole guy here. And these guys all have to cover down inside. Any good earlier? You were when that guy ran the swing or a bubble. I mean, you, any strategically good for that? I mean, you got extra guy. You got yeah. a we corner can cover down. We be, any, any, I mean, hell, anything I can cover down. They throw any type of, uh, you know, any, any ball down there, any media route. We ought to be good. We got a hat for a hat. Yeah. yeah. It's probably, I mean, the only problem is you're rushing three. Yeah, I mean, but because guys can guys can rally faster than anything because they got help behind them. Right. So this right here again, when again, the guys in the backfield want to go straight back. He releases that side. I should be expanding over here. These balls, you should have a bunch of everybody should be converging on all these things. Why well, couldn't you, or have you ever, or do you do? I mean, combined with what you said earlier about that um, the May Day. Yeah. Or no, excuse me, the black. Uh huh. I mean, could you could you combine yep. Tampa and black and I find a way to spring about, a guy free? Yeah, there's about. Oh yeah, combine that with it. Yeah, I mean, run it, uh, get Tampa. Look, uh, yeah, the only, problem, the only problem with that is when we give them a, a, a true drop, is that if you got D lineman dropping out, it's how much do you want? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, okay. You and got, he may be at high school. You may go do that because you know, I don't know how good a passing hit you're seeing. I mean, hell, yeah. you may go do it more great for you. Or get more athletes on the field yep. and get guys who are who are capable of dropping. Because the ability to spring a guy loose, because like you said, if you're only bringing three, you're not going to get any pressure, but. And that black look, somebody is going to be yep. sprung free, and you're, you're rushing free. We're going to play the bear front. We're going to rush these three and drop these three inside guys. Then we're going to rush that guy, and we're going to possibly read the tackle center and the tackle. Right? And we're going to do all three. We're going to do all those looks off the same thing. And then we're going to play zero coverage with the two. Instead of just being in Tampa, so he walk down, he'll take the back, and we'll go six man pressure. So we ought to give them all. We should give about, about four or five looks. So we ought to get. They ought to get the same thing. Down on the hash and bottom, as we talked about opening the hitch, because we got a gut call. Yeah. So you got it. Yeah. He steps to the extent. This guy does. Yeah, he does it better up top, right? Yeah. 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 Corner up top, want to ride him outside more? Uh, he could probably, probably get a little more physical with his hands. Yeah. He's not good. Yeah. Answer. We were actually we, there in slam, so he's, he's inside level to right. start with. He's a divider. Yeah. Well, actually, in this one, he's, he's, he started up, he said walk back, then squatted. Thank you. 
upload. See, the only thing I think you can coordinate the skies better. It's right there. We got a real good quarterback. He knows that he says that is not man. Because mm -hmm. you're not leveraging that guy, and you're not leveraging that guy. But I'll start where and I'll, instead of being here and walk back, you got to start here and walk back. And he's but I'll start here and walk in. Yeah, practice a lot of coordinating with the sky. Through. Yeah. Group period. You might have to ask. Yeah. Try to make them like fix it. Make them look the same. Right. Yeah. Not really a question, but like maybe like a philosophy thought. Okay. You know when you're saying you're doing schematically, say you come in and your biggest threat is their quarterback. He's right. the runner. Yeah. You know, and it's not a lot of design run, it's his you it's know ability, ability, ability to scramble. Yeah, I hate those guys. What what I know. What yeah. are you trying to play with with, with your yeah. front? What are you trying to do? Yeah. Anytime, anytime a general thing is this is, uh, is that anytime a Quarterback is real athletic. We've got to play more zone coverage. We've got to have vision. We've got to rally that thing when he pulls it down and goes. So that's, you know, we're going to look in the game. Obviously, we're going to play a little more of our zone. It's going to be 3 2 or, or something. We've got to have vision. Our Tampa, we, we've got to vision that guy. You know what I mean? Just because, you know, just like that, uh, that 15 guy. I mean, he pulls the ball down and you're in man coverage. Ooh, he's going to be running for a while. You know? Um, so we do a lot, you know, yeah. And then uh, the games is a huge part. You know, if you're gonna play any type of any type of man or, or uh, uh, if we're playing with any type of man or match, if anything, we're gonna vision the receivers, and we want to make sure we're we're twisting the game, and hopefully to keep that guy uh, from running. Okay, and that was uh, we can talk about that. You guys want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Said a little while ago, you want to funnel him back in the middle, not get not the contain outside, right? It depends. Yeah, it depends. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I'll go like this. Uh, I want to know really. We're trying to watch. I'm trying to watch is uh, uh, how well does he does he throw the ball? When he, some quarterbacks like this. You, as soon as you flush him, he's Come running. Up the guys when he flushes, and he's looking for the home run. I don't want that guy. In front of me, you know what I mean? Because when you do any of that kind of stuff now, you know what? The, he would bought time, and now your DB's got to cover him longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Zones get distorted. That ain't good. The guy that the guy that was going to get outside, and he's going to try to throw that ball. Uh, uh, that's the guy that we uh, we really, I mean, we want to keep his butt in there. So we're going to make sure we try to coordinate to where uh, the pressure and stuff is to keep him in there. Okay? Um, yeah. I'll talk a little pressure. Okay? We'll just, we'll just talk games. Okay? I said earlier we talked about our past, we said how we break it down, we went into the concepts, how we do the routes, I said we're not when we label. We first, we're going we're to say the protect, or the, the, the drop, it's a five-step drop. We're going to always classify where the center slide to, okay? I'll just go double point again, okay? So we want to know if it's CX, I means the center's going to slide to the X, okay? So we're getting this, right? You know what, right? Classify and protect is always, you know, 90% of the time, so we're seeing the slide, right? You're going to see the slide side, you're going to see the man side, okay? Well, we always want to know the most important part is always around where's the center going to, okay? So when we do our when we do our stunts, okay, 
we're trying to figure it off of that. Okay. To the slide side. I guess what we did I where the back is. Okay. All right. To the slide side. We want the whatever you call it, I don't know what you guys call the ET game, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, it's and first, right? I'm first, I'm second. Okay? We want that. Right? We want the ET game. Why? Because if you go if you go the T and then E and he comes around, the center's sitting right there to pick him up. Okay? There's no game over there. So what we're trying to get done, okay? So we would want to the slide side away from the back. We want the <coughs> ET game, right? Okay? And to the back side, okay, we would want the T E. So at least if he comes around, I'm on the back. Okay? Alright? That's how we're gonna call it. If we didn't know, okay, before I get into if we didn't know which side or they're reading the back across and give us some problems on that stuff, we would now that's what we would call double calls. So when we say uh, on your term, like a, double, a, a double ET, right? Or a double TE, -E, wherever you call it, okay? All right? So if we couldn't get it, then we call it, we just call it, and they'd run the game, knowing that on one side it's going to pop, okay? All right, let's talk about this real fast. All right? Um, ET, okay? Depends on who you got. For, for us, if it's, if it's an outside backer, we got our inside foot up, outside foot back. Okay? If you're D lineman, right, you're going to have that, that the inside foot back, the outside foot up. Okay? So it changes. Alright? If I'm like that, I'm going to go on my second step. One, alright? Two. So I want to plan on my outside foot. So if I'm D in, if my feet are like that, I'm taking my <coughs> second step. If I'm outside backer, we're on our third step. Okay, so it depends. I don't know if you're doing with outside back or you're doing with ends, right? But, all right, so basically what I want to do on this thing is I'm going to go one, two, okay? One, two, and I'm going to rip, let's say put them in here against 76. I want to rip through the seven, okay? I'm going to rip through the seven, all right? Get myself vertical. Now, again, I'm the inside rusher. That's the quarterback. My aim point be the front cheek, okay? I'm going to rip through that. As I come inside, if I come inside, if I see the back of the guard, all right, I'm going to give him a one-hand push, okay, <coughs> to help my tackle out, okay? So, again, if I come here, and, right, and I'm a defensive lineman, I'm going to go one, two, stick my foot in, I'm going to rip through the inside of uh, seven, I'm going to rip through his inside armpit, okay? I'm going to rip through the inside armpit, boom. If the tackle's back, if the guard's back is right there, I'm going to give him a shove as I continue working that seam, okay? Right? The inside guy, all right, because we tell him you're going to go one, two, okay? You're going one, two inside. One, two. All right? You get him to go inside. We want this guy to power down, okay? As he powers down, it's going to open up the gap in there for this guy, okay? And I guess we're trying to get these guys on two different levels, okay? We're going to two different levels. One, two, I'm inside. I'm going to go one, two and dance with him inside. When he does that, I want my game now is I'm going to throw my best pass rush move off of his ass. Okay? I'm going to throw my best pass rush move and I want to scrape paint. Okay? If there's paint on his ass, I should have it on my forearm. Okay? I want to scrape paint and this thing ought to be, oh, ideal world, I'm hitting this and I'm hitting this game downhill. Okay? Alright? But if not, if he's coming inside, as he comes inside, if they're trying to pass it off because we didn't get him on two levels, okay, I should rip, okay, and I want to rip. Why? Because that's going to lock up that tackle. I rip through there, <coughs> they get passed off because we screwed it up or something, all right, we didn't sell it or whatever else, okay. I'm going to rip through there. If I hit the guard, I want to hit him, but my rip's got to what? Hold the tackle. Why? So he can get free, okay? All right. So it's one, again, it's one, two, rip inside. If I'm the backer, it's going to go what? One, two, three. One, two, three, stick your outside foot, rip through the tackle's inside armpit, 
Okay, if I see that the, that the guard's there, I'm going to one hand push and shove him down as I work through. Okay, I'm going to dance on the inside, one, two, dance to try to get him what power over. He powers down. I'm going to scrape paint and I'm going to throw my best pass rush move off the deck of defensive end. Okay, that'll be the ET game. Okay, on the one we're coming over here to the man side, okay, what we want him to go ahead and do is widen out. Okay, we're going to widen out. All right, and we're going to push up the field, and I want to push to the inside back of the tackle. Okay, so hold it, he's going to kick. Okay, I'm going to push to the inside, the back of that hip. Okay, same thing, as I'm going, for, anytime I'm going first, I'm going to push it. I'm going to push it up, and I'm not going to get occupied with it. I don't want to stop my rush. I just want to get to that thing. He should be kicking to me. I'm going to get to that thing. I want to give him a one-hand shot. All right, I'm going to try to shoot it in his hip. He's there. I've got a one-hand shot, or if he gave you his back for some reason, because the guy couldn't stay square, right? If he gave you this bit, and I would shove him in the back. If he stare here, I want to shove him in the hip, okay? <coughs> Just to help us on the back <coughs> ball. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to blow that gap. Now I'm contained from the three, okay? Again, if it's a defensive end, it's still going to be one, two. Hit my left outside foot. When that foot hits, all right? If I'm outside backer, it's going to go one, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to again throw my pass rush move off the tackle's butt and I'm going to scrape paint nice and tight. Okay, all right. To help this move right here, when you do the TE game, okay, because the one thing that screws it up is if they do the cha 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 up here, trying to wait to get them on two different levels, that's the thing for this trick. Because if that guy's worth a darn tackle, if he sees you go cha cha cha, he's going to boom, he's going to punch the three technique right now. He's going to wait for you. Okay. And that's the whole thing about the screws of that blitz. If they can pinch off the three technique, it's over with. Okay? So what we want to do is we're going to use, we don't want to tip the ball. We're going to key the man inside of us. Okay? He's my get off key. So we should, we should be late to go. So if he's going to get off first, then I'm going to go. Okay? Don't key the ball. Okay? Key the man inside of you. He goes first. Now I don't have to cha 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 it. All right? I'm one, two, if I'm the backer, I'm an inside foot up, outside foot back. It should go one, two, three. Stick my left foot. I'm gonna throw the rip inside. I'm gonna come off. I'm gonna throw my best pass rush move off the butt of that tackle, right? And now I'm the inside rusher. Front cheek of the quarterback, right? The other guy's gotta get to the back kick, uh, the back shoulder of the quarterback, right? Everybody got that? Okay, six. Now we're gonna do those things off, we can do them off anything. We can do them off our bare front. We'd be like this, right? <coughs> Over here, we want to get this game, right? Over here, we want to get that game. We're going to straight brush the nose, right? Again, so if we got a pack, if we got an athletic quarterback, we want to have, we got to have one. We want to have those games on, okay? All right. We got the inside games too. I think this one we can inside is a little Texas. I don't care how you put them in there. If we say Texas, we're reading the center. Okay, we're both going to take an inside step first. If he's blocking you, I'm going to engage, right? And I'm going to be the rapper. Okay? I step inside. If he blocks away, I'm going to ear hold the center and help him ricochet me to the quarterback. Okay? All right? Bully class was, you can call them whatever you want. For us, because it's so much, we, I mean, I do, we did different, because this could be a backer, it could be a defensive end, it could be whatever. So we just got to classify it was inside rusher or an outside rusher. And we use the states. Inside first and the outside. Outside first and the inside. We go Iowa and Ohio. Okay? All right? That's how we clear who's going first, who's going second. You can, if you're in a four man front, it's probably a lot easier to do in Tex and Eater. Or you ear and text or whatever, you know, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want that. Right? The biggest thing is on the game is to make sure you get them on two different levels. And then we want to get into the most important part is the steps. Okay? One, two, three. You don't want to go one and come inside. You go one and come inside. All the tackles are going to do If you go a high outside guy, you're going to ET game. If I take one step and come inside, he's going to power you down and slam you down. And now we're all on one level. 
okay? You've got to push it to the second. You've got to push it up the field, okay? Or else there's no gain inside for you to go there anyway, okay? Um, what started that question? About QB scramble. Huh? QB scramble. QB scramble. That's right. Okay. So, if we wanted him on the outside, okay, we would get, we could go, uh, for us, it would be uh, double Iowa. Boom. All right. Boom. Okay. We're going to let the slow kid run. Okay. All right, that's a way to push it to the inside. The other thing is sometimes if you don't use enough, we just go, we just call a bull. We're all going to bull rush. Make sure there's no escape, no escape lanes inside. 